Hey everybody and welcome back to this series that I'm calling uh, Getting Back My Living Room, also known as Unboxing Wednesday. So I'm here with another big box. I think these are salt and pepper shakers. Honestly, I opened this box and then I set it down and I left it just like the last one that you saw. Um, hoping it won't take me too long to get through this box with you. Um, I am going to get through these boxes as quickly as I can. And uh, like I said, I'm trying to get back my living room. I store all of my uh, mystery boxes in my living room because I do work out of my home. And so the more of these that I uh, fill, the more space I have to actually sit in my living room. So with that being said, let's get started. Let's take a look. Some pleasantries. Thank you for being here. If you are following me, I am posting consistently now. And I appreciate everyone who has come by, commented, and liked my videos and has stuck around um, all this time. So with that being said, let's get started and let's see what's in the box. And just like before, I have this shoddy pair of scissors because all the scissors in this house have gone missing. But it looks like first layer is going to be a nice thick piece of bubble wrap, so that's encouraging. And then it looks like so far, from what I can tell, everything seems to be packaged loosely in bubble wrap, which some might fr uh, frown upon, but I have less to cut, therefore I'm happy. So let's, it seems like most of my videos are either me, it takes up a lot of time for either me talking or it's all of me cutting all these open. So hopefully I don't see any tape. So hopefully we won't take as long. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah, super easy to unravel. Plus I'm gonna be able to keep all this bubble wrap because it's not stuck in tape. First one here is a little chef. Little rubber stopper or plastic stopper, sorry. No other markings. Cute little chef. His little, I think he's holding, looks like it to be a piece of bread or what I would call a popover, but I don't know if that's correct. And then, so I do have to ask, now I know not everyone enjoys a good salt and pepper shaker set. Some people could care less, but for those of you who watch my video, are you resellers? Are you looking to gain some knowledge on things to resell or are you salt and pepper shaker? collectors looking to see what's out there, what you might not have in your collection, what you might want for your collection, or do you just watch videos to pass the time? I'm genuinely curious like what what and why you watch the videos. I love to ever hear everyone's opinion on these. So this is a cute little green mug set. If I see me here flinging it around. I thought they were limes before I unwrapped them. Um, one has a rubber stopper, one has no stopper. There is some crazing on this one. I don't see any markings, but this is cute. Looks like a little beer stein and maybe a wine glass. Some other like floral print with like what I think are hinges. If you know anything about this pattern, let me know. Of course, I'm gonna do some research, but kind of looks like it's supposed to mimic like a wood slice almost. I thought it was going to be a lime at first. So far I've unboxed I think maybe five or six um, salt and pepper shaker unboxings. So far this is my favorite of how they've been wrapped. But what I'm actually going to say is I haven't received a double yet. So this says Aloha and Hawaii. They are pineapples. There does sound like there must be some chipping on the inside but they do have plastic stoppers so I don't know if that means they've been replaced or they chipped inside. But either way, no other markings besides that. It looks like this one had a sticker originally and it got ripped off. Oh, another little cup. So that's this one here. Now I know you don't know this, but this box is actually taller than the last few boxes. I'm standing on my tiptoes so that way I can reach over this box. <laughs> but here's this one. It's got some yellow flowers. Well, it looks like to be a little couple walking near a stream or water with some mountains. Same with this one, it is matching. Both say salt though. Hmm. Both are missing their stopper. It makes me wonder if 
maybe this, these two go together and the other two go together? Probably not. I think these ones just got lotted up together even though they both say salt, which is fine. Um, I can sell them as a double salt or see if maybe I'm right on the other thing and maybe it does go with that green pepper one. Now this one looks like this. It says bless this house, some floral print. No real crazy issue. It is dimpled. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's lots of dimpling um, to this, which I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or if that's the glaze over time that's like puckering. But so far, there's only one of these in here. All right, okay, so this is a good sign. I know you can't see it in here yet, but I already see a white cup, a green cup, and another green cup. So maybe... Yep, there it is, pepper. So I must have two of the same sets. Here's that same one that goes with this one over here. So that is a salt and pepper. Now, excuse me if I'm rushing through these. I'm not trying to, but through editing my other ones, I realized that I do talk quite a lot, and you're just sitting here staring at my hands for a long time, so I'm very sorry about that. Okay. Oh, okay. So what we have here, what we unwrapped are two different sets. So these two go together. So that's why it had two different patterns. So these two go together. And then these two go together that have that wood slice green. That makes a whole lot more sense. Well, so much for that. There's a broken one. I'd expect that when you buy a whole box of ceramic or china or anything, you know you're going to get some busted ones because here is its matching set, I think. Oh, hold on. It's covered in pepper. Okay, this one's going to need a good wash. I'm laughing because I just stepped away for a minute and literally it took maybe that solid minute for this thing to fully finish dumping out all the pepper. It is the size of my hand. It's big. But as soon as I popped the topper off, one, the topper or the stopper disintegrated. Two, it just poured. Like if you've ever had sand in your shoes at the beach after being there all day and you dumped it over, that's what literally, it just, I didn't think it was going to stop. Here's a little tiny one. Let's see. See and Deprude. Bupri, I'm probably butchering that name. I'm really sorry if you know how to pronounce it or you're from that area because I just butchered the name. But there it is. It's a little, looks like to be some sort of stein. The little castle on it. And what's nice is because of how they're wrapped, I can kind of find their match quickly. These ones are marked Japan, plastic stopper. Oh, here's a blue set. This one's pretty, I like this shade of blue. Reminds me of denim. It has the P on the top, and then here is the matching, matching salt shaker. And here's that. It looks like it's a little buggy with a carriage and two people. The other one had the same thing, and those do have rubber stoppers. And they're actually in really great condition. There's no crazy, no dimpling, no puckering. Like, really good condition. This one is a little squirrel on this giant acorn. Now tell me, how excited would you be to be a squirrel and find an acorn that big? Like, this thing is massive. And it is marked Japan with a rubber stopper. Here we go. Yep, marked Japan too. No chips, no cracking. These sets were taken care of. These are my favorite kind of sets to buy. <laughs> oh! Found another cup. <laughs> now we'll have two more white sets, which you probably don't want to see that because you already saw it. Hmm, I don't see the match in here right now, so it must be. Oh, because I already pulled it out. Huh. There they are. This one likes pink and florally. Oh, and I was, and I was right, and its stopper just shot out of it. So this one. It's like a little basket weave pattern. The bright pink flower. It is marked 4474. What well, used to be what looks like a gold and red, probably Japan tag. I can't be for certain of that unless the other one has it, but that's what that looks like. And nope, this one also marked 4474, but no other tags. 
So here is a light and blue set. Uh, marked, oh, your sticker says top, says top in quality Taiwan spin original. So it's got a picture of a top, but uh, this one does have a whole lot of cracking happening. I don't know if you can see it right here. Almost looks like it's gonna chip, but I think that's more or less the paint because this is an unglazed bottom, but it looks like it's been painted. Okay, so this is interesting. I just pulled this one out. This is the one we pulled out like the very first one, maybe second one. Now that one's hat doesn't come off, but this one when I opened it, his hat popped off. Now he looks like it, like he's chipped right here, but there's a, like a gasket where it's supposed to be, this is supposed to go on. So does he go with that one? He's got a different food thing in his hand, which doesn't really matter, but hmm, that's an interesting set to have to look up. Oh, now we had one of these couple videos ago similar to this but I think the tops were red maybe so it's not the same so still haven't got two of the same sets yet but this one is very similar to another set that we got previously oh yep because I remember that WQN on the bottom but I think these were a different color because it's not the same set Ooh, a shell but these are these are pretty they're like a nice sea green with like brown purple accents you can tell there's some unglazed spots on the bottom. They're missing their stoppers. And no other marking besides that. Did you ever look at something and you go, what the heck is that? Could be a pig. It could be a bear. Or it could be a cat. What do you think it is? I think it's a bear. Bear. I'm going to go with bear. I don't know if that's right. Unglazed bottom. No stopper, seems consistent. Oh, it's inside. Yeah, stopper's inside. Oh yeah, it is, that was random. So it did have a cork stopper that looked like someone tried to gouge out of there, but didn't successfully do. Oh, we almost had, we almost had another, okay. So I have bought and sold one similar to this Viking set, but not this set exactly. It was still close, it has the same stopper, ironically, the. Other ones have the same bottom, different different toppers. Yep, 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 yep. Stan Home, Stanley Home product. And this is heavy. This is most likely lead or possibly pewter, um, but the whole thing is metal and it weighs at least 13 ounces. It's pretty heavy for a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> There's just so many different ones out in the world. Like what looks to be a straw barrel, straw bale, chair, maybe? What do you think it is? I think it looks like a straw bale that you sit on. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's right though, but it does have a cork bottom. No other indicators besides that. What's it say? So it's got an Indian on the front, an Indian chief. Oh, nice. Okay. So this is from, let's say where, so it's made in Japan. Get my fingers off of it so you can see it. Um, looks like it originally came from the Heritage Barn for 209. I don't know where the Heritage Barn is. I'm curious to look that up because it's a very old tag. Let's see. I see we have a goose. Now, how many of you have a goose in your front yard? As soon as I got our first house, that's what I knew I wanted. I wanted a goose. Now I always said, oh, I'm gonna dress it up under this. He's a naked goose. He doesn't get dressed. And I haven't bought him any clothes, but I always wanted a goose for my house and I have one outside. This one, the paint is chipping pretty bad on the beak. It's kind of like rubbed off. It's not, feels like it's not chipped, but it's just like rubbed off. Um, no markings on these. Now, so far I see this clear base in here, but I haven't found what goes to it, but I think, I think we might have just found it. We're getting through this box a lot faster than I normally get through, probably because these aren't all taped up and I don't need the scissors as much. I'm gonna guess it goes to this one. This is my guess. If so, this is cute. But like all my other pet peeves, it's clear glass, so which means it's gonna be a pain to look up, but it is kind of like geometric 
cut the silver top. More clear glass ones. This one's clearly been used. It's something product made in. Oh, this is really rubbed off. I can't see it. This gonna take some more research, but this is what they look like. Oh, I wish it still had its mark. Okay, so this is Mark Japan. Cork bottom. It's bottoms inside. I can see, but here they are. They're two little chefs. Oh, this one's, oh, it just, oh, it almost fell out and I tapped it back in by accident. Let's get through this layer on the bottom. Let's see, this is a big one, wow. Oh, I thought it went this way. It goes like this. So another vase shape, possibly urn shape set. This one says made in Japan. It's a big set. This is like the size of my hand. It's like a good size pizza dough ball. <laughs> it's very pretty with blue flowers. And then like, the, like most of these sets, this is in really good condition. No crazy, no cracking, no chipping. It's all really good. Ooh, this one's pretty. Royal Mail England. Okay. Let's see if this is the match to it real quick. Oh, this one had pepper on it too. I'm gonna leave that in here. Looks like it's, I'm gonna put that one down because it's covered in pepper. Looks like it's an Old West scene with a carriage. Looks like maybe a field and an old farmhouse. That's pretty, it says Royal Mail England. So here is a, another white set. Still got part of its paper tag that I had when they bought it. Oh, it looks like some green and pink florals. Brown bottom, it does say Stangle on the stopper, but this one is missing its stopper. No other markings besides that though. Oh, I remember this set. Okay, this, this duck is the reason I bought this set. Um, this is not a standard salt and pepper shaker set. It's actually a four piece set. So I'm hoping the, the four pieces are in here, but see, it says paprika. So that's just one part of the set. So this should be another, yep. So where you normally get salt and pepper, that one's paprika and ginger. Here's the other one, cinnamon. These all have their cork bottoms. Cinnamon and allspice. So these aren't even salt and pepper shaker sets. They're spice, it's a spice set of ducks. How often do you find a spice set of ducks? All right, so like the first one we found, saw in this box, the Bless This House, little cabin, some flowers. This one says made in Japan. I don't remember if the first one even had the sticker on it, but this one does. Let's get the next big one. I think it's corn. These are some big old ears of corn. This is big, <laughs> some giant corn. These are so big. I don't even know how much pepper it would take or salt to fill this. It would take forever to fill, but they are marked Japan, two clear ones. And they're so small, but they are cut. A really nice pattern. They are plastic tops. Most times though, when they're glass, they're also plastic tops. And those are the last two and some salty, salty, peppery uh, seasoned bubble wrap. Okay. So, this has been one of my most favorite boxes to unbox, even though I know I went through it really fast. But if there's anything to take away from this video is keep an eye out for this set here. I don't wanna hold it all in one hand cause I don't wanna risk breaking it or dropping it. But look for this duck set here. So let me know what your favorite set was from this week's unboxing and have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye.